Before we get started, I wanted to say a special thank you to today's sponsor, Sam Ash Music. If you play music in Las Vegas, you know Sam Ash. You can pick up microphones, percussion, guitars, pianos, all sorts of musical instruments. They also have lessons and special uh, performances on their stage. It, it's overall a great place to go. You should definitely check them out. And um, tell them Josh sent you from Room 6. More importantly, click the link down in the description. It'll take you to their online website. It will help the channel out. I appreciate it. I know you'll appreciate it. Thank you, Sam Ash, for sponsoring today's video. And uh, thank you for watching. So let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing Dead to the Unknown, the 12-song CD from Midas, who I had the pleasure of interviewing a while ago. You can uh, check out that interview there. After this video, of course. Midas is made up of Miles Lanham on lead vocals and guitar, Mark Vazer on the bass, Jeff Pritz on lead guitar, Mauricio Silva on drums. Now that introductions have been made, uh, why don't we slip into something a little heavy? If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share. And uh, yeah, let's go. A Time to Fall starts off the album with a creeping intro reminiscent of early Metallica that builds and explodes into what Metallica wishes it could be. Yeah, I said it. This song sets the tone for the entire CD with a no holds barred attitude and tight musicality that showcases the talent of the band. Song number two, Tyrant, continues the trend and jumps right into the rock. A little more harmonies on the guitars, and even a little on the uh, vocals if I'm not mistaken. I found myself listening to the lyrics a little closer on this track. Dead to the Unknown immediately feels a little... bigger than the previous two tracks. With a slightly quicker pace and additional instrumentation, plus breakdowns that show the band has more than one speed, I can see why this is the title track. Frail made my calves cramp up just listening to, to Mauricio's double kick attack on this song. Then the song morphs into a melody-driven saunter of someone prowling the edge of a pit, just waiting to pounce when that blistering solo happens, courtesy of Jeff. And just as suddenly as the song started, it finishes with some Baroque-style guitar melodies, which sets the tone for song number five, titled Tearing Down the Clouds, which starts with an easily identifiable guitar riff and swelling crescendos that prepare the listener for another auditory onslaught. This song totally has the potential to be a crowd anthem, if it's not already. Emptiness in Me is the closest thing to a ballad this album has, with an opening that smacks of power ballads and arena rock, before suddenly building back to the minus we know and love. Unlike most of the other songs on this album, Miles' singing style is a little more hard rock than metal until the chorus kicks in. This track is my favorite on the CD, mostly because it showcases their diversity and musicianship, especially when the breakdown lulls the listener into a false sense of security before the song swells into quite possibly the best solo on the entire album. The seventh song, Oblivion, jumps right back into the pit with more of the same sonic assault, spearheaded by Mark's driving bass line and judicious use of Mauricio's clash cymbal. Crash cymbal, sorry. The song is relentless and just doesn't let up. Worse for Wear has my favorite lyric of the album, which boldly proclaims you will never see what's buried deep inside of me. A close second is Where Have I Gone Wrong, which seems to basically be the theme of this tune. Another moshable song that speaks to the insecurities in all of us. The longest track on the CD, Into Silence, delivers yet another metal master class. Wow. Changing time signatures frequently and uh, quickening heartbeats before impressing us with how talented they are. Then, 
finishing us off with another triple time pounding. Make your own jokes, folks. <laughs> Just when you think you're used to the metal mayhem, my machine cranks it to 11. The shortest track on the album and bouncy between speed metal, soaring guitar harmonies, and syncopated rhythms, this song is short, sweet, and heavy. The title of End of All sounds like it's the last song on the album, except nope. Sounding like the soundtrack to a futuristic war movie, I found myself subconsciously bouncing my head. The song was complete, moving seamlessly from one section to the next, and keeping the listener interested by keeping us guessing. Until I Go actually is the last song on this metal tour de force, and starts out a little different than the rest. Proficient use of the delay effects pedal created some anticipation before breaking into the hard stuff. This song is a great song to end the CD on, as it backs the pace off a little to give every instrument some room to breathe, including the lyrics. A powerful song to finish a powerful album from a powerful band, with lyrics that are deeper and more intelligible than the genre sometimes exhibits. Tight guitar harmonies, relentless drumming, and a bass line that underlies and drives the attack, minus is dead to the unknown, tells you exactly what the band is all about. Hard, rockin', metal. This album is a great big helpin' of pure adrenaline, designed to create mosh pits from the get-go. Check them out as soon as possible if you like any of those words I just said. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you'll check out Minus's album, Dead to the Unknown, by clicking the link down in the description. Definitely go check them out live. It's, it's amazing. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, click here. And if you want to subscribe, please click here. Don't forget to hit that bell. Really appreciate you coming by. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.